Hi, and welcome to our next video on percentages where we're looking at finding a percentage of a particular quantity. All right, so in order to find a percentage of a quantity, um, first of all, whatever percentage we're looking at, we need to convert that percentage into a fraction or a decimal, and then we need to multiply by the quantity. All right, so to convert a percentage to a decimal or a fraction, so we've got a percentage and we're going to a To convert this, what we need to do is we actually are dividing by 100. Now, if it's a fraction, we're writing that over 100. So whatever the percentage is, we're going to write that over 100. Or if it's a decimal, we're actually moving that decimal point two places. So we're moving the decimal two places left. Right, that's the really easy way to do it, but we're dividing by 100. Right, so an example here might be 75%. As a fraction, it's 75, and we just write divided by 100 or over 100. So 100 becomes a denominator. Or 75, and then if we move the decimal place two spots, we get 0 0.75. Now, my personal preference, I think, converting to a decimal is the easier way. Uh, it's easy to calculate uh, and it's a lot neater. You don't have to worry about cancelling out. So we'll do this method um, throughout this video. All right, so an example, first example here, what is 40% of 150 kilograms? All right, so we need to first convert 40% to, to a decimal. So if we have a look at that, 40, we go two spaces, the decimal goes there, that equals 0.4. Okay, so now what we do is we go 0.4 and we multiply that by 150 and that equals, get our calculator, 0 0.4 multiplied by 150 equals 60. So that's 60 kilos. So 40% of 150 kilos is 60 kilos. Okay, Johnny scored 60% for his math test. We would have seen this in the previous video. The test was out of 30 marks. What score did Johnny get for his test? So the teacher might have given Johnny 60% and he knew it was out of 30. Um, so he might want to work out what his to total marks were. All right, so first of all, what we need to do is we need to convert 60% to a decimal. Well, 60% equals 0 0.6 if we move that decimal place two. So his scores were 0.6 times by... 30, that equals 0 0.6 multiplied by 30, he got 18 marks. So you can see there, Johnny got 18 marks out of 30. All right, our final example here. Um, new regulations say that the new school gym being built must take up 18% of the area of the school. So we saw in the previous uh, video, the old one took up 14.4%, so the new one has to take up 18%. If the school's area is 1,250 metres squared, what size does the new gym need to be? All right, so we need to work out, well, what is 18% of 250? So we work out, so 18% actually equals 0 0.18 remove that two decimal places. So therefore the, the new gym area needs to be 0 0.18 multiplied by 1250. So we've got 0 0.18 multiplied by 1250. That equals that equals 225 square meters. Right, so that's a that's a um, 18% of the whole school area is 225 square meters. So really what we're looking at is Converting the um, percentage to a decimal and then multiplying that by the, uh, the quantity that we're finding that uh, percentage of. Okay, thanks for watching. Hopefully you got something out of that and we will, we'll see you in our next video.